Uh, Alright, what's up guys? This is Paul here. Back today on the Minecraft server. I know, that wasn't a very good song. But I'm here at BTC's old base. And you saw last episode the BTC gave me the keys to this place. And I will admit, I won't be like... Is that... That's closed, we're good. Um, I won't be like... Like, making my base here. It's just somewhere to come and stock up for a bed. I'm gonna sleep because... It is not time! Uh, I want to apologize in advance, this, this episode is going to be quite short and not as contact packed as my usual stuff, just because I have, uh, oops, I, mean, I always say that in my episodes though, don't I? I always say they're going to be very short and they end up being super long. Um, there's an golem. Oh, awesome, very cool. I, uh, I have been, <laughs> well, I've been in the process of moving my house away, like, I have, uh, fancy normal, put that far, okay. We're good to go, I think. I've been moving my entire like setup downstairs, and uh, well, I didn't have time to record then. Yesterday was not happening because my brother was being a bit of a a bit of a nuisance. But today, I just want to walk around and see what everybody's done. Not really going to do anything myself too major. Maybe I'll set up the entrance to my house, but about th that's probably going to be it. So I've had a lot of people message me saying, "Paul, Paul, generic generic B, who's uh, you know, generic B has done bad things." I have heard Generic B has done bad things, and I am angry because of that. So let me just hit myself with this. How much do you actually get off this? Anything? Well, okay, I get the full two minutes. Um, but yeah, Generic B has done bad things, my friends. He has done very, very bad things. <sighs> Apparently, I heard. The, this is all speculation that he, he, uh, actually, while I'm here, I want to go over and check out, uh, if you guys haven't seen Mr. BWO, Etho and Good did a little prank on Generic B. I, I, actually, I actually thought it was quite funny. Um, they went and uh, did a little prank to him. And you can go check that out in his video. I just want to check it out today though um, and see what's up. Because I haven't been on the server in like maybe three days, four days. And I usually stay on a lot more than that. So I think it was over here, was it? No? Hmm. I always thought Generic B's base was over here. But apparently not. Huh? No. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. Because I always thought Generic B's base was over here. And that obviously is not the case. As the prank must have went elsewhere. So... We'll find that out next episode, but I just want to go back and see what he's done to me because uh, I heard it's bad, guys. I heard it's bad. Like, I, uh, I heard it's actually quite bad, but I've been thinking up a few ideas, right? And, uh, I really would, since everybody's opening the subscription service, I really would like to open up mine. And I know I had the chicken fancy delivery service, but I really didn't think... The chicken fancy delivery service or anything revolutionary. I want to revolutionize the whole uh, delivery service, you know, sort of, sort of industry. And I know there is a lot of people who are trying to capitalize on this recent boom in subscription-based services on the Minecraft server. But I want to do one with the dogs. Because as you know, I love me some dogs. And uh, speaking of dogs, I need to catch one. I really want to I really get a Santos of my own. If you guys remember, Santos was my dog in my Let's Play. My original Let's Play back in 2010. I had a little dog called Santos, and he had a brother called Little Smokey Weenie. And the actual names of Santos and Little Smokey Weenie came from <laughs> my friend Frank's WWE 2011 play 2010 playthrough, I think. He created a custom character, and he called him Santos. And it was like, uh, every, every time he went to, uh, you know, jump up, on the top rope, it was like, and Santos, now from the top rope, now from the top rope, little smoky weenie, oh, and I've just been on like, a craze lately of watching old wrestling videos, and I recommend you guys not to do that, for one of two reasons, for one, it eats up all your time, like, I was, I was watching a video of, I believe it was Triple H versus Cactus Jack, and that must have been from, I can't even remember, but I remember it from my childhood nonetheless, and it was Triple H versus Cactus Jack. And uh, what happened was he... <laughs> it was like a four-part match. This other was like a super long match. Um, so that's what happened on that one. 
Uh, you know, and uh, by the way, I'm just going to say this in advance. I'm going to put a Minecraft episode up tomorrow, and it's going to be a lot more thought out and planned. Today's just going to be a... I guess we can call this a 0.5 of an episode, you know? Because I really don't want to classify this as a full episode. It's just me going around. And I really just want to see what generic's done to me today. But I will try to make it 20 minutes as usual. And we'll try and get some, you know, manner stuff done. So, shouldn't be too bad. Uh, but yeah, they, they've been draining my time. And f two, it makes you, like, realize how old you are. You know, back when I was watching wrestling, when I was, like, a 10-year-old kid, y you know, you didn't, really, you didn't really realize how fast the time went because I was watching... I, I watched wrestling in, like, probably the 2000s when, like, the Dudley Boys and the Hardy Boys were around. And, you know, you had... Uh, who else? You had like Eddie Guerrero and Chris Benoit, who have now passed away. And uh, you also had, who else did you have back in then? Like, uh, it, you had Rhino and, you know, you had Hulk Hogan. And there is Mr. Viking himself. <laughs> Hello, my big man. <laughs> classic Anders, classic Anders, right? Textbook Anders. No problem, um, but I have, uh, I have been, you know, it seems when I watch wrestling nowadays, my blonde boom shell, <laughs> my blonde boom shell, let's see if anybody has opened up our training post, nothing, I have some, you know, nobody's going to take that scope this potion, I will, because nobody's going to take it, every time I watch wrestling now, I really don't follow wrestling nowadays, I just like watching the old stuff, but, you know, every time I watch it nowadays, it seems like Teddy Long the is just on it going, We're gonna have a tag team match, player! We're gonna have a tag team match! Tag team match, player! Or, or, or if it's not a tag team match, it's like, You're gonna be going one-on-one -on -one with The Undertaker! That's it, every week. Every week on SmackDown. One-on-one -on -one with The Undertaker! Tag team match, player! We're gonna have a tag team match with The Undertaker! One-on-one! -on -one. Even though it's a tag team match. <gasps> What? My, my my chickens? No! In other news, we have a, a book by Etho entitled Etho Economics, Chapter One. I'm gonna fast forward this by two. So if you guys want to read it, go ahead. My voice is gonna be very squeaky. Our first challenge is to create an entire economic impulse structure from top to bottom out of whole cloth. No gradual evolution from previous economic systems is possible because there is no previous economic system. Each interdependent must be possibly materialized simultaneously in order to be working perfectly. Otherwise, the system will crash right before it even gets to the ground. Chapter 2. Human behavior is economic behavior. This particular may vary for competition for limited resources remains a constant need as well as greed has followed us. The stars and rewards of wealth still await those wise enough to recognize the deep thrumming of our common pulse. Your every tar intellectuals must not lose touch with the world of industrial growth and hard currency. It is all very well and good to pursue these hard-minded scientific theories, but resource crafts are expensive. You must justify your existence by providing not only knowledge but concrete, profitable, actual blah, 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 blah. Well, at last, it is time for any transitioning micro corporation to plunge our government from end of nowhere to empire. <laughs> this is like this is like my GCSE business studies all over again. Friendship is worthless society when he chips. Blah blah blah. In former times, monopoly power, the power company, we intend to give us an entire new meaning. We are no longer particularly in the business of writing software to perform specific tasks. We are now teaching the software how to learn in the primary bonding process. It molds the software to be wrong to perform. The feedback will never end. Two tenth year poly sentence can be priceless jewel or a psychotic wreck, but it is a primary bonding process. It's chosen. If you that will. Blah blah blah. Life is new in order of decay and energy states. I believe it was a quote by Nikola Tesla who said, "If you wish to understand the world, think of it in vibrations and frequencies." So if it was not too far from the point there when he says that life is energy states and requires the survival and blah blah blah. blah. Resources exist to be consumed and consumed. Blah, 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 blah. But what does this forgot our future seek by what will I say? Let us take what is ours, chew, and eat our fill. War is war. Destruction is destruction. You think this is not obvious, but war is destruction. It is victory. To achieve victory. This is like this is like the art of war by Etho. This is you know, thousands of years of evolution have happened. You know, some zoo had to be born, and then we have Etho, the next mastermind of war, but it isn't physical war, it is virtual warfare. To achieve victory, we simply blah 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 quest of power. By creating the planetary network mind can on planet on planet. Is that is that a grammatical error I see there by Etho? Okay, we didn't see that. Yeah. You know, the maybe Etho must never make grammatical errors. Um but by creating a single such network, each faction has brought themselves closer to discovery. At the speed of light we will catch on first target release. Technological advances and hurling process, one does not simply take some sign of blah 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 blah. So I can say from that I now have plus ten intelligence points. Thank you very much, Etho. I highly appreciate that. No, I actually do because I really want books for the library. And while I'm here, I want to shout it to you guys. If you guys have any books you would like to submit to the Minecraft library, I will be opening up a fan section. And the fan section will be probably similar to this. Um, it will have it'll have the same sort of theme and vibe going on. Um, 
and I will be accepting fan fiction, not fan fiction. So I did not say fan fiction. <laughs> if you guys have seen any of the fan fictions that the people have wrote about me, there's one with me and Baj. You do not want to read that. That's my jam. That's my jam. That's my jam, guys. So have you guys seen the latest Minecraft news? We have sunflowers. Yes, sunflowers and many other types of flower coming to Minecraft, which is pretty goddamn exciting because I am all for more decoration blocks in the game. I mean, that's one of my biggest gripes. Like with Feed the Beast, we didn't have, if I got 50 chads, where's 50 chads? 50 chads. And I will repay you through for that because I am indeed going to be doing repayments. I will make sure all of my authors on the server get properly compensated for their hard work that they have put in. And that was a 19 page masterpiece by Mr. Etho. Etho Lab, what is his name? War is 50 cheats? No, we cannot have lost this. Phew, holy crap, I almost crapped myself there. 50 cheats of answers. Oh my gosh. Man, I can't believe I can't. there's some there. Yeah, this is the best bit. I'm gonna do we dance for this. <gasps> do, 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 do. Look, the side of the moon going down as well. How romantic can I get? Give me my sticks, boy. Where's my sticks? Do, do, do. I really wish they would put dog in the game. Like, please, dinner bone. <laughs> If you're watching this, I need dog in the game. I need dog in the game badly. Dog is my favorite track on the entire Minecraft Alpha album by C418. So, that, has anybody bought that? Nobody's buying my books, man. Nobody's buying my books. And of course, the legendary 50 Cheers of Anders is going up there. So I will make sure my authors get uh, plenty of their repayment back. So I will... Give me that back. Where's my diamonds? Where's my diamonds? Have I any diamonds on me actually? That would be... I left them in my other base, didn't I? God damn it! Yeah, I left them in my other base. Uh, I wonder if Adlington has a bed. I can't believe my poor chickens, man. My poor chickens. And also, that dang hermit. That dang hermit. That dang hermit, man. Honestly. He freed Milby. Well, Milby has not been freed anyway, so I guess I really don't mind the fact that Milby has been freed. And apparently Milby's not in the nether, so hopefully he's still alive. If we lose Milby, we have lost our dignity. We cannot sacrifice our comrades. We cannot do that at all. Um, honestly, I, I'm really tempted just to kill the hermit's golems, but I will not sink as low. I will not sink as low. I'm going to put in a complaint to Pitta again. And this time it's personal. My poor chickens, man. My poor chickens. He killed Etho and Etho Jr. He killed Etho Jr. <laughs> he killed Etho Jr. And others and Chicken Source Jr. How low can you stoop? How low can you stoop, guys? I don't know. That is the question. That is the question. So I guess with that, I'm probably now morally ob obligated to build a graveyard. A proper graveyard at that. Dinner everyone, Jay. Ralph untitled. Arnie! Arnie! I even spoke to Arnie himself once. Damn it. So, actually, I'm gonna keep them in there for now. We're gonna have to build a graveyard with, one, with those guys next episode. I'm gonna get my revenge on the hermit. I really am. Where's my, where's my dirt? Where's my dirt? Damn hermit. Messing with me. So we'll keep those guys there for now. And again, the loyal, there will be a complaint going in against Mr. Generic B, B. Get that going. One, go for a pot shot. Let's see if I can get a 360 no scope. Oh man! Man, this is even worse than the time that I took 100 grams of caffeine. Oh, no, sorry, not 100 grams, I'll probably die. You died 10 grams. Let's see if we can get a no scope on this guy. Oh man, that's horrible. I really want to do a man. Okay, we killed him. I really want to do a Minecraft trick shot montage with like really monotonous dubstep music blasting in the background, like Sierra Leone. Like, that's the way it goes, isn't it? 
So this mini episode, I really just wanted to show Ethos great contribution. I can't believe have we any have we any ink? That feather falling book is mighty tempting to steal, but again I will not sink as low as some people on the server. Alright, so what am I needing for here? I need that for a book. I need feathers. Okay, as a cat. Gonna kill him. Feathers? Ow! Right, I need ink as well, but I don't ink it in that anymore. Honestly, squids on the server just seem to spawn when they want. They really do. Like, I could be... You know, I really don't want squids, and they will never show up. Oh my god! What? A squid? Oh, where'd it go? Okay, there it is there. Good, we have that. Cool. Now I can go and make... I can make my complaint again. Honestly, the hermit is going too far. He really is killing all of my, all of my, all of my things. <laughs> Can't believe we lost them, man. Can't believe we lost the guys. There's three. Meow. No dot trois. Meow. Jammies is still up there. Again, I have not killed Jammies. Meow. Oh, All right, I'm gonna quickly do this. Boom! There we go. Unfortunately, it's called Chicken Tiller with a thing, but. I will get my revenge, guys. I will get my revenge. Not today. Maybe tomorrow. So I want you guys... I, I'm going to get a little bit of involvement from my subscribers here. I want you guys... Yes, you. You staring at the screen right now, wondering if I'm talking to you. I would like you guys to... Uh, leave some suggestions on what we could do to Mr. B. Please. I would appreciate that. Personally, I'm thinking of breeding like a hundred wolves and leaving them in his thing because if he attacks the wolves They're all gonna attack him and he's gonna die. So basically he'll have to ask me So I don't know what you guys think about that, but on that note I'm gonna take a little trip over to my base Get some diamonds and repay our lovely new author in addition to the Paru library Mr. Etho, I, I am obviously going to you know secure him. I'm also going to get Anders his uh Part of the bargain, I did say I would indeed, you know, help and promote those who do in uh, do contribute to my library. So I will drink this speed potion here and head on over to my base, grab some goodies, and uh, I'll meet you guys at Ethos Place where we can set up a little chest thanking him for his contribution to the library. So yes, I shall see you guys in one moment. Alrighty, I've just got my stuff. Um, and I'm going to head on out, oops, to, uh, to Ethos Place. I have a complimentary gift package for our newest publisher. Again, guys, I am still waiting on my contract from, or sorry, my book from Milby. He did send a contract. So uh, now that Milby's channel is back up and running, I hope to hear from him soon and see what he can produce, see what goods he can bring to the table. As if you didn't know, Milby did do creative writing at university and... Well, he has quite a talent, and uh, a u let, 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 let us say a unique taste when it comes to uh, storytelling and, uh, you know, what he decides to enthrall his viewers with. So I am quite looking forward to uh, what Milby can produce, a masterpiece if there ever was one. And uh, yes, I will, I will have many late-night reads of that book, I'm sure. But back on track today, looking for Anders Base, Ethos Base. So we'll go and leave that at Ethercorp, and uh, then we can go to Anders, leave it there. And uh, that will be very, very, oh, oh, very jolly indeed. So, again, uh, as I'm going to give another quick plug the Insomnia, I know I did it last episode, but Insomnia is still coming up. Again, UK Minecraft Expo, um, it's in Telford in the next, I think it's about two weeks. So we're going to see me, Badge, Milby, and many of your other favourite YouTubers there. Be sure to check it out, just Google Insomnia. Am I actually all out of speed potion already? That's nuts. That thing runs out fast. I wish there was some sort of like portable IV drip you could just hook your hook your arm up to and you could get speed potion for days. Speed potion for days. Yeah, I've been thinking uh, about the cauldron in Minecraft and what that could be used for. I really, really hope they give some use to it soon as I would love to see some sort of potion mixing 
or some sort of more alchemy side to it. I mean, I I'm not asking for magic spells and stuff. I'm just really asking for the ability to mix potions. And people are probably going to say, yeah, that will probably be a bit, you know, over the top or a bit too buffed, I guess people could say. But maybe there could be downsides to it. I mean, you know, maybe if you mix potions, they lose, you know, the potion itself loses its effect by like half or a third. So, for example, this Swiftness 2 potion would only be lasting for, let's say, 45 seconds instead of the 130 when you mix it with another one. So let's go and leave Etho a little message here. Put it, I guess we'll put it here. Uh, Arthur, let's say, Arthur gift package. Paro. There we go. So, thank you, Mr. Etho. I'm going to put four in for them, not because I haven't got enough to give both Anders and Etho. Um, five, so we'll give him four of those, we'll give him two of those, we'll give him one of those, and I guess since I'm such a good guy, I'll give him a little healing potion. No, he doesn't need potions, does he? No. I guess, <laughs> what can I give him? I don't know. Let's just spread it out a little bit so it looks cool. Wee. There is his little package there. Actually, you know what's going to look cooler than two blocks? I think I'm just going to do this, do that, get that in there. And I think this will look better. Oh my god, that looks a lot cooler. There you go. Congrats, Etho. Congrats. Now we head on over to Anders' place. By the way, people tell me this all the time, Paul. It's much faster uh, running than jumping. I know, it's just a habit. And what do they say? Old habits die hard. I believe that is the term. So let's just leave Anders' his little gift package here. We'll put it in his house. Because again, 50 Shades of Anders, a true bestseller in Minecraft, one of the greatest books ever made. So again, we'll, we'll reward Anders, one of our top and most loved authors here at Power of Pages, with, uh, you know, a good bit of that. I'll put that in there. A good bit of that. We'll give him none of those. And we'll give him four of those. Actually, I'm going to give Anders... Ah, uh, no. I, well, you know, 50 Cheats is a worldwide bestseller, so I think he deserves that. So we'll put that on it. Oops. Author gift package from Pyro's Pages. Enjoy! So, with that being done, guys, I'm going to conclude today's episode... Uh, I want to apologize once more for it being quite short in comparison to my usual Minecraft episodes, but, um, you know, I did, I, I usually try to get these uploaded once every other day, so there was meant to be one up yesterday, and I missed it, and I didn't want to miss, you know, it today, I didn't want to skip a day either, so, I'll make it up, I'm going to do another episode tomorrow, hopefully you guys will enjoy that also, and, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all later, so, thank you for watching, Paul, signing out.